loves, welcome back to the channel and today I'm going to be taking you guys through my current and favorite quad glute routine. We're back, we're here, it's a new year. If you guys are going to follow this workout, you're definitely going to feel extremely sore tomorrow so be prepared for what we are going to be doing today. This is the per workout that I normally take. It has a lot of caffeine in it and this year I'm all about sleep. Even though my workouts on this are great, I can't sleep when I'm on it. I'm trying the my protein one, there's less caffeine in it. But I don't know, I'm just somebody that just loves the caffeine and the itch. And we'll see how I feel and then I always mix my citrulline malite with my pre-workout. This stuff, you guys know, I absolutely love. It helps me with the muscle recovery and the pump I get from this is insane. Just don't be taking the amounts that I take. Once, three times a day, but I do like five, so don't listen to me. Don't listen to me, <laughs> and I'm not responsible if your heart's going boom, boom, boom. <laughs> and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe before we get into this video. Okay guys, so we're starting off with our warm-ups and stretches. Always, always make sure you do this before your workouts, I do find that I stretch less when I'm doing quads and glutes compared to when I'm doing hamstrings and glutes because I find that when I'm doing hamstrings and glutes, I need to open up my hips a little bit more versus quads and glutes. I feel like the warm up I do on my hip thrust and like a leg extension. <laughs> When I'm done with that, I like to put on my knee wraps because I don't like having to take them off and on and untie my shoes and tie my shoes. So I just keep them at my ankles. For those of you who don't know what knee wraps are, they just give you a little extra support if you have any knee pain and stuff like that. These have been a life changer for me. But yeah, I just keep them at my ankles and then bring them up. First thing we're doing is warming up with hip thrusts. I love doing hip thrusts and I like to knock it out the first thing I do just because it's most tedious to set up and because I go heavy unloading also as a workout out in its own so i just like to make my way up slowly and then you know to the max i would say the key reminders for these um is make sure you are your hips are aligning to where your knees are and you want to have good control when you're doing hip thrusts you don't want to just be swinging 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 the weight and it's mostly better when you can control and really contract your muscles while doing so so if you find yourself swinging too much take off some weight and do it properly so you can actually get the most out of your lips in terms of sets and reps it depends because i have my strength training days and then my extra hypertrophy days so i like to make on my strength training days i make sure that i'm doing six to eight reps of four to five sets versus my other days i'm doing three to four sets and 12 to 15 reps Obviously, in every exercise that you do, you want to make sure that you're having a good mind-to-muscle connection. For me, I just make sure that I'm really focused on those specific muscles, especially since hip thrust is my go-to for my glutes and what I have seen the most growth from doing. And then making sure that all the weight is on my heels and on my toes. Next, I'm doing a superset of heel elevated goblet squats. And then right after that, I'm going to go into the Smith machine and do heel elevated single legged lunges. This will have my quads pumped and insane. But yeah, I usually do this set or I'll switch it up a little bit and do kind of like my foot on the bench and then do normal Bulgarian squits, split squats. I usually alternate between the two. So if I'm not doing this set, I'm just doing the other one and then doing like the heel elevated squat type of for my quads if that makes sense but yeah i love doing the single leg heel elevated ones just because my left side is weaker than my right side so doing the single leg variations help me kind of balance and help my left side kind of catch up I 
in terms of sets and reps i really switch it up a lot and it depends on the exercise that i'm doing but for example you know if i'm doing the goblet squats i will do maybe eight reps that day stronger with three to four sets and then if i'm supersetting with the single legged i will do 12 reps or i'll switch it the other way around depending on how much weight i'm also using here i think i'm doing 55 pounds but yeah you always want to switch it up because you, you if you do the same thing over and over again your body's gonna get used to it also i just wanted to show you guys how i put the knee wraps on and or how to use them i do love knee wraps however i recommend not to use them all the time even though it can be tempting you don't want to be dependent on them so i like to do them half during my lift and then half without so it really depends that day if i find that my knee is really acting out then maybe i'll use it throughout the whole workout but i try my best not to so yeah as you can see if i really feel like i don't need it i'm not going to need it and that's really the only way for your knees and to get stronger but i do find that when i do have them on i can lift <laughs> double the weight that i'm doing so it's a uh, it's definitely very tempting not to use tell my bros tell my bros then that shit rain and let it burn him on that burn him on that burn him on i saw saw that night i rhyme in your bitch your bitch off the car then we start rhyming your bitch and then next we have the go-to leg extensions i love leg extensions you know nothing really beats this exercise it's great but i do find that the the way the structure of this machine is i find it because it's on my right side it kind of is easier for the weight to go on my right side compared to my left side so i wish they had a machine that was on the left side as well <laughs> you know then for our last glute exercise we are going to be doing a back extension i have come to love this exercise and the good mornings on the smith machine on my quad and glutes days it's either i'm doing this or the good mornings which i will show you guys in the next video how to do those but yeah i love 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 back extension but the only thing i don't enjoy it has to be a specific machine as you can see with this machine you can kind of see how my knees straighten and kind of bend i will try to show you guys in another video it's just because it was so busy where the other one was so i just had to improvise but i wanted to show you guys when you're doing this machine just ignore my knees kind of what they're doing in this video you, when you're doing this machine you want to have your toes pointing outward and kind of already have a squeeze in your hamstring and your glutes and curve your back instead of having a straight back or else it's just gonna work out your back so you definitely want the curve at the top so it's gonna go all to your glutes <laughs> Uh, me and my niggas trying to get it, you bitch, you bitch. Get that house, they tell me, is you with it, you bitch, you bitch. Home invasion. And then lastly, we have caps. Um, I don't know, you guys can see caps is not really exciting, but yeah, this year I really want to grow get bigger calves because everything is getting bigger and my calves are struggling to keep up so yeah we gotta do them <laughs> so but yeah that's pretty much it for this video you guys i hope you guys enjoyed it don't forget to like comment and subscribe comment down below what your favorites are um in this video so i can know and yeah i will see you guys in the next video Uh, me and my niggas trying to get it, you bitch, 
Yeah, bitch, hit that house, yeah, like, tell me, is you with it, yeah, bitch, yeah, bitch. Home invasion, what's persuasive, what's persuasive, what's persuasive. From nine to five, I know it's breaking, yeah, bitch, yeah, bitch. Dreams yeah, of living life like rappers do, like rappers do, like rappers. Back when condom rappers wasn't cool, they wasn't cool, they wasn't. I fuck Shireen and went to tell my bros, tell my bros, tell my bros. Then usher Shireen and let it burn him on, that burn him on, that burn him on. I saw Saul and I talk rhyming, yeah, bitch, yeah, bitch. Park the car, then we start rhyming, yeah, bitch. Yeah, bitch. The yeah, only bitch. thing we had to free our mind. 